Here we are in section two, review one. So the review exercises of chapter two, that first section of review exercises with the solutions to numbers 20 through 23. These are percent change problems. And some of them like this one are going backwards where we have to find the original and some like this one are going forward. So number 20, the original price we don't know. We'll put a variable there for a P. Uh, the tax is 5%, so 5% of that original price. So here we're going to look at it right there. 0 0.05 of the P is the tax that gets added on to the price, and that equals 359.50, and that's the final price. Notice that we don't take 5% of that and try to go back down because 5% of the original and 5% of the final would be two different numbers, and this is the the pattern of how we calculate tax. It's 5% of the original one plus that original price. All right, this is an equation. We know how to solve this. Combine like terms. Remember, there's a 1 right in front of that P. So that's a 1.05P equals 359.5. We can solve for P by dividing by 1.05 on both sides. And we get P equals Let's bring up our calculator and let's see what we have here. 359.5 divided by 1.05. And that will be 342.38. 342 and 38. Label that dollars and cents. Good. Number 21. The original price is 55.50. The discount is 20%. And remember, that's 20% of the original price. So that's 0 0.20 times 55.50. And that then gets subtracted from, so that is the discount, subtracted from 55.50. There we go. And that will equal the final price. And we're using the formula, if you remember, P minus RP equals F. And we're given P and R. Over here, we were not given P, but we were given F. All right, so on the calculator, we could type all that in, or let's do it piece at a time, 0.2 times 55.50, and that's 11.1. .1. So that's how much is being saved. They save 11.1, .1, so we take 55.50, subtract that answer, and we get 4440 with the dollars and cents. And notice that we didn't actually need to do algebra on this one. We didn't have to go backwards because we just took these two and we computed the, the discount and then subtracted. This was all an arithmetic problem. All right, number 22. The population of a town grew 11.3% up to 17,046. What was the population last year? So there's our variable, P. So the population of a town grew 11%, but 11% of that original population, just like we always take the percent times that original. Same thing here. 11% of the population up to that is equals 17046. Combine these together and you get 1.11p equals 17046. And on the divide by 1.11. And that will give us the P equals, pull out the calculator, 17046 divided by 1.11. And we get 15356.8 people. So we better round to the nearest person. Like here we did the nearest cent. If it's people, it's the nearest person. So 15357. And it's people. Excellent. Okay, number 23. If the price of an object dropped 15% down to 62.90, what was the original price? So that's our variable. Price of an object drops 15%, and again, that's 15% of what it used to be, down to, there's our equals, 62.9. Now, this 1 minus 0.15, that gives us 0.85p. And that might be a little bit tough. If you if you haven't done that many times, you'll have to think about that. 1 minus 0.15, this is 1.00, like a dollar minus 15 cents. 
equals 62.9. And then uh, divide both sides by 0.85. So we get 62.9 divided by 0.85. And that is $74 right on. So divide by 0.85, divide by 0.85. And we got P equals 74 dollars. And if you want to stick the cents on there as well. Good.